In this video, we are going to do something very critical for optimization. When you're creating your design variables, you need a way to double check and confirm that you've properly configured your design variables. For today's example, we'll be focusing on this composite laminate. Here, let me go to the next slide. I've gone through this example in detail in a separate YouTube video. I definitely recommend you view that video if you're completely new to optimization. But in this, what we want to do is set the design variables for the thickness and the layups. So here you can imagine there are eight design variables for the thicknesses and then another eight design variables for the ply orientations. The web app is a useful tool for rapidly creating your design variables. Uh, here on the right is a lot of output. Each of these entries is used to produce uh, a new value for the property. By this I mean uh, this dvpro1 entry for thickness1 and this desvar1 entry are, are pairs essentially. Together they're used to produce your uh, values for the parameters. And here just to show you an example. You see that in the desvar entry here, the initial value is 0 0.01 that you see here on the bottom right hand corner. So the initial value of this design variable is 0 0.01. Let's go ahead and type that in in notepad. 0.01. Then, since the desvar and the dvpro1 entries act in pairs, this 0 0.01 is multiplied by the 1.0, so this gives you 1.0, and then the product will be 0 0.01, which is the thickness of ply1. Now, during the optimization process, this desvar entry will be modified. So in the next one, the thickness might be 0 0.02. So then you perform the calculation again, and now the new thickness is 0 0.02. Apply one. That's how you get all of these uh, different values in the design variable history. It's the values in the desvar entry that are varying and then you perform this uh, equation, you calculate the new value of the entry and that's what ultimately gets you the value of the property. But you should always check to make sure that you've done this properly in the web app. Uh, the reason I say that there is the risk that you, uh, or rather a detail may have been overlooked say for example the d-links uh, here i've set up some d-links that associate thicknesses to other thicknesses here i'm saying that the thickness one will be equal to thickness two three four five six and seven and eight and then my orientation angles will have some other relationship the way you can confirm whether or not you've done this properly if you open up the f06 file and you scroll down to somewhat the beginning of the optimization, you get this table called comparison between input property values from analysis and design models. So here are this first value. This is the original thickness value. This is where we started off with. This is what the model has naturally. This is what's inside of the original BDF file. So here are the P comp entry, 0 0.01. That corresponds to this value here. And then the 85 degrees, that corresponds to the next value here. Here on the right is are the values that are produced from your DVXREL Desivar combination. So let me go ahead and highlight these actually. So these values are produced again from your your desvar value and your dvx rel value. So here, for example, theta one, which corresponds to design objective x nine. So let's go ahead and look for this one x nine. So x nine here has an original value of eighty five. So we'll go ahead and type that in here: eighty five times the constant that's in the respected dvpro 
value, which is 1.0. And then that's multiplied by 1.0, then you get 85 degrees of ply 1. Here, back in the F06 file, we see the analysis value is 85, and that's what's here in the original BDF file, 85. But the analysis or design value, I should say, is 85. So that's the combination of the DV Pro and Desbar entry. And here, we get a difference flag. This will mostly be none or warning. If it's a warning, check to make sure that the difference between the two values is very small if it's very large that means there's an issue with how the design variables were configured there's also another flag where if it's fatal if the difference is really incorrect and large um, it'll say fatal here and then i believe the optimization will not proceed at all also here, I've used links to link some of the orientation angles together. So here, I'm saying that if this ply is 85, then this ply should be negative 85. If this ply is 60, this ply should be negative 60. I've used so-called D links in my model. And here in my web app, I've already configured the D-links here in this table. I get a set of D-links here on the right. But then after you do this, you should again compare the values in the table here. In my case, there are no differences between my Desvar DV Pro values and what are reported uh, with the analysis values. So here I've properly configured everything for my design variables. If I did make a mistake, for example, I did not configure the D links properly. The analysis value might be negative 85 degrees, but here the design value might be positive 85 degrees, and the same for this other one. In that case, you might get the following you might get a warning here, and you might get a warning here. If you see a warning, again, check the difference. If the difference is very small, you can ignore the warning message. But if it's a very large difference, for example here, that's when you should inspect and make sure your design variables were configured properly. So again, um, make sure that this check is part of your procedure. Uh, or rather, if you're performing a large scale optimization, this should be a table that you check just to make sure that there are no big differences between the parameters in your original model and the parameters that are defined in your design model. With that, if you have any comments, questions, as always, you can reach me at this email address. Uh, I check this email address very often. And so if you have a question, feel free to ask me and I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you for watching.